Hello friends, Randy here with We Crafty Creations with a quick video about Q4. Uh, most of y'all probably know what Q4 is, but I will just specifically mention uh, that's the fourth quarter of the year. A lot of retail businesses focus on that. That is October, November, and December. Uh, some people go by a more specific calendar, but that's <laughs> basically it. Uh, it's generally the busiest time of the year for most retailers, whether that's online or in person, small businesses, big businesses, uh, because of the Christmas season uh, gifting, and also because of the weather. A lot of people are more, um, you know, locked away at home because it's cold, because they're sick, you know, because of snow, whatever it may be. And so the, the, the mood for shopping and the, the just the trend of that, you know, it's just a common thing that people do a lot more shopping and do a lot more kind of nesting and staying home during the winter season. And now, of course, it's not everybody and it's not every type of business. Uh, weddings don't aren't nearly as busy in the winter. Um, you know, as same with bathing suits and people who live in Hawaii might not shop, you know, a ton more during the winter than they do in the summer, uh, except for, you know, the Christmas gift part, of course, the holiday holidays and everything. Um, and it's not just the gifts, it's also the decorations and it's, um, you know, the family events that you have and all that kind of stuff that goes along with the holiday season. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about this because I am going Going to be focusing a lot more in the next couple weeks to try to get ready for Q4 before October 1st hits. That's where it really, you know, technically starts. However, for me, I would say the busiest time of the year for me on getting orders is right smack dab in the middle of November. Um, once you get real close to December 1st, you can't necessarily guarantee that items are going to get delivered to people in time. So, that is one thing to consider as well is setting a deadline for when you will uh, stop taking orders or when you will no longer guarantee that the items will arrive before Christmas. Um, you know, you kind of want to pick a date for that. And there's a lot of videos that you can find on Facebook about that or on um, YouTube about that. So I'm not even going to bother getting into it a whole lot. Uh, there are dates that you USPS and stuff puts out as well that lets you kind of know. Um, but although nobody generally goes by those, they usually add at least a few days to that because, you know, USPS doesn't necessarily like to under promise and over deliver. They kind of do the opposite. So anyways, here is my list of what I'm going to focus on here I, I made. This is a kind of a priority list for me, and everybody's going to be a little bit different, but what my priorities are right now is to list more products. Uh, I really need to make sure that anything that I've made and haven't posted yet and listed up on Etsy and go imagine that I get those listings up, um, get all the photos of those taken if I haven't taken all the photos yet. Uh, this is something I have quite a few items that I need to list that I haven't listed. So that's a big one for me. It's, it's, it takes a lot of time to do that. And it's not the fun part of creating, um, you know, crafts for most of us. Most of us would prefer to do the painting, to do the, make the jewelry, to, you know, do whatever you do. But to list it is just not the funnest part, in my opinion. Um, second one on my list is ordering supplies. That's shipping supplies and supplies to make your items. Um, so no matter what you make, you know, you probably have something that you need to have in stock and you may or may not be prepared for an influx of orders. If you had a um, have made sales for over a year, you can look back at last year and see how many you made and kind of gauge off of that. That's what I did and I basically plan for double. Um, and of course, I have some new products that I didn't have last year and some new elements to those sometimes. So there's, I, I only can guess on those things and certain things for some reason get really popular and then I don't get orders for them for, for a really long time and then I get them again. I just got an order for five turkey ornaments and you know, five is kind of a lot. I think I only had six turkey shapes, so now I only have one left, so I need to order more turkeys. Um, but I didn't want to go and order 20 turkeys and then not sell any because, I mean, how many people buy a turkey ornament? It's not that common. But, uh, you know, when they do, I'm there. <laughs> 
<laughs> there's not a lot of turkey ornaments out there that you can choose from. So, you know, it works out if you really want a turkey ornament, for example. So, you know, you really have to make the decisions that are best for you on what supplies to order. Um, some supplies, you know, are you're going to use them even after the holidays. Um, I'm not going to go and buy a whole bunch of turkey shapes and, you know, snowflake shapes and all my different things that only kind of are going to be good till till the end of the year. And then I'm going to have to hold on to them all the way until the next season. Um, but as far as my packing supplies, I will order way extra. And that's fine because then even for the orders that I get for Easter decorations and, you know, whenever else I'm going to be able to use those same things. I'm not going to buy, um, you know, packing supplies with snowmen all over them or anything like that. If anything, I'll buy a few stickers that have uh, a certain theme to them, but the actual packaging is going to be pretty neutral. That way I can use it whenever. Um, but but yeah, buying those supplies, making sure that you have them on hand. You don't want to wait till the last minute. You don't want to find that what you want is sold out or that it's kind of expensive and, you know, maybe it wouldn't have been more as expensive if you ordered it earlier, uh, that kind of thing. Organizing your space. <laughs> I really need to work on that. I have a separate area for where I package and ship my items and print out the labels and all of that from where I make the crafts. So that's really good. But the area where I make stuff is out of control. Um, and what happens is, is the, the messier that gets, the more likely that I can't find something. So somebody places an order and all of a sudden I can't find where my supplies are to make that order or where my pre-made items are for those those things. And I just, you know, go crazy and spend over half an hour before I find it. And everywhere once in a while, you realize you're out of something that you didn't know you were out of, you know, and that's not good. So you really need to be organized, uh, keep an inventory, of course. I have an inventory, but uh, things got a little crazy. And at one point I didn't have something that I needed and it's, it's embarrassing and it's like, you know, you either have to delay the order if they're okay with it and hurry up and scramble to get what you need or you have to, you know, cancel the order. No good. Uh, so really getting organized, making sure everything has a place and, you know, a spot for it to be is really important. Um, and then cutting down on time wasters. Uh, this is anything from sitting, watching YouTube videos all day, uh, watching Netflix, uh, scrolling through Instagram or Facebook, you know, these are things that you need to do more sparingly. Most likely everybody's different and, you know, you need your relaxing time, but you also really need to be careful about wasting time. One of my biggest time wasters is like, I like to try new things. So... I will see some new product, I will see, you know, something new that I want to try, and then I will waste hours. So that can be, that can be a lot of things, you know what I mean? But like, I opened a shop on Michael's Maker Place, and I barely put any time into it, but I did put a few hours into it. And then I'm just like, I don't know if I have time to really work on this right now. I need to work on my Etsy and Michael Imagine shop, because that's where, you know, I've already been established, and I've been working, and I just, I don't know if I should have opened a third one. <laughs> and with time wasters, there's also balance. So it's making sure you take care of yourself, making sure that you do have fun occasionally, you know, don't just work yourself to the bone and worry and you know not enjoy yourself sometimes you do just need to chill on the couch with a bucket of popcorn and watch a movie and that's fine you know and you, you need to do that but uh you know it's just finding that good balance of in enjoying life but also making sure that you got your priorities straight and you're not just becoming a couch potato every weekend um you know for example i mean everybody wastes their time on different things that's just one of the things i've been guilty with in the past it can be video games, it could be, um, you know, just all sorts of silly things people do, just sitting there watching TikTok videos or reels all day long, you know, stuff like that. So anyhow, um, get, get a nice balance and really make a list for yourself on your priorities. They might be a little different than mine. Some of these things you might already have, you know, you know you've got all the supplies you need, for example, but there might be something else. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope everybody has a great day. Give me a thumbs up if you found this interesting or entertaining or helpful in any way.